So I was out on the road not so long ago, and in between uh, talks, somebody came to me and said, how do I stay in the moment? And I thought the question was so important that I wanted to bring it to you as well. Over and over again, we hear about the importance of being present, being in the moment, being mindful and all of that. And there's so many reasons why this is a really, really big deal. It's easy to think about all of the things that have happened in the past and whether or not the road has been bumpy and, and have we been uh, good to everybody in the past and are we uh, doing everything we need to do to cancel out whatever happened and so on and so on and so on. But the truth is, when we spend all of our time thinking about the past, we're repeating the thought patterns, the ideas and the feelings that we used to have and it's impossible to expect a different experience in a different future if we keep thinking the way that we used to think. And similarly, it's wonderful to have big ideas about the future, but unless we're really present right now, unless we're doing the work that we have to do here and now, that future will never come. Let me say that again. It's great to have big plans. It's great to have big ideas. I want more people to be more passionate about the idea that they have a role to play, that the future is something that they have control over. There's so many people that are just marking time, just going through the motions, and the world is a better place when the people in it are passionate about the idea that they have a say, that they have some power. So yeah, make your big plans, have your big ideas, be passionate about the future. But on the other hand, we both know that the universe will prove to you over and over again, easy way and hard way, that it has a better idea. It's important to recognize that you're not the source and you're not the destination, right? We talk about this all the time. So yes, have your big plans, but get to a place where you can release that and recognize that your ideas may not be the end all be all. We need to learn to release the past and we need to learn to let go of the future too. There's that present moment that needs our attention, that deserves our full focus, our full passion, our full love, so that the next moment can be a good one, a productive one, a healthy one, and so on. So here we are, after all of that, here we are back at the question. How do we do that? How do we stay in the moment? How do we stay passionate about right now? How do we pay attention to right now so that when the future comes, it'll be better? It'll have growth as part of what goes on. How do we do that? Well. There's all kinds of places you can go to learn about mindfulness. There's stuff on the internet. There's books you can read. There are exercises you can do. And I think all of that is really important. Find something that speaks to you along those lines. Find some mindfulness exercises that feel right to you. That's beautiful and that's great. But I think that's only part of it. Because you can get really good at doing those mindfulness exercises and still you can miss something really important. Because I think for a lot of people, it's really about trust. If I can't trust, then I'm never going to be able to stay in the moment. If I can't trust that no matter what happened to me in the past, it's led me to right now. If I can't trust and let that go, I'm never going to be able to stay present. And similarly, if I can't trust that the future is going to work itself out to the degree that I am right here and right now, if I can't trust that, I'm never going to be able to focus no matter how good I am at the exercises, no matter how many books I've read about it. It really does come down to trust for a lot of people. And so along with your mindfulness exercises, what I want you to work on is trust. And here's the thing, you're already really good at it. We live a very trusting life. The question is just, what do we place our trust in? You're already very trusting. Where are you putting your trust? And so let's work on it. Let's build up the muscle of consciousness and get really good at paying attention to where we trust. In your meditation time, if you meditate, and you should, Think about all of the ways that you express trust in just an average day. Think about the multiple layers of trust, the complex web of trust that happens just to drive to and from work. Think about the way that you trust the building that you find yourself in. Think about all of the ways that you trust other people and they trust other people and so on and so on and we trust the world that we live in and so on and so on and take it all the way back, as far back as you can. Think about the fact that we live by that kind of faith on such a profound level. Take it all the way back 
to the place where you recognize that the universe takes care of its own and you are just a part of that wonderful machine. You're just a part of that wonderful web of trust. And to the degree that you get good at that, you recognize that the past is a great thing. It's led you to right now, but right now is where you are. And the future is a great thing, but you're not there yet. And you can trust that the past and the future will take care of itself to the degree that you pay attention to right now. Learn to trust. And you will learn what you need to know to be a part of the amazing right now now. Thanks for the question. Thanks for your time. Thank you for this amazing exercise that we're doing together. Thanks for playing the game. And thank you for sharing these videos. It's really important. Thank you for subscribing to these videos. It's really important. And thank you for going to facebook.com slash Randolph and clicking on that like button. It's really important. Take care of yourself.